And when I think of tying my happiness to people or objects, those things are, you know, objects are objects. They come and go. It is what it is. There's really not a lot of joy there. And people, people are completely outside of our control. And I don't like tying my happiness to something that I have absolutely no control over. They can let us down. They can die. They can whatever. I don't have any control over what Isaac does. So I can't tie my happiness to that. Let's just see how this works. Here was my whole plan. I'm not even sure how to. I don't even know how to do this, man. But let's. I'm gonna put this up like that. Do you know how to do this to make it so it's just that page? Yes. Sweet. All right. Ethan's in control. Here's here's how I was going to open it up before the surprise was ruined. I was gonna talk about therapy, right? That's what I do. I worked at Earl Rehab for six years, and then I started my own company in 2019. I got some fun stories. Right goes forward, and then yeah. right. Cool. I had a session today. It's basically like a failure to launch story, the narrative. But it's not the kids typically coming in. It's the parents having the kids come in, which I'm not a fan of. But, you know, maybe it'll work. So here's the thing. I had today a kid came in. They were given the opportunity not to go to high school when they were like in middle school. So for years, they didn't, go to college, they didn't go to school and they just played home, played games at home. They just played games online. So their online, their online presence is really well invested time-wise. And so they have a big online presence, but they don't have an in real life presence. So they're just avoiding it as much as they can. <laughs> so that happens a lot, which is, I think relative to what we're talking about here, this whole overcoming adversity. In this presentation, which I don't know, it was kind of weird saying, this is what we're gonna do. And um, I put that genuine up there just to remind myself that I wanted to be genuine, which I don't know how genuine that is at this point. I have to remind myself. But the first thing that we're doing an introduction, that's, I don't know, do we need to spend time on who I am? If you have questions, you wanna, ask good because i don't know i have i have thoughts about people's stories and at the end we'll do q a so as long as we have what we're doing here accomplished maybe maybe we'll have a lot of time for this and you might have a lot of questions by the end of this uh presentation but first thing we're gonna do is define adversity ah you can you guys can check that out let's just should we just go for it and see what happens you see if this this thing works, right? Here we go. Hey, hey, all right. All right. Cannot change your life unless you change something. What? You know, maybe this maybe this presentation will go. I usually over prepare, so I'm like, I'm not going to over prepare this time. I might have under prepared. We'll we'll find out. <laughs> and you can see I did this last night, so I'm like really on top of things here. You cannot change your life unless you change something. And maybe we'll go back over this. But here's where I open it up. What is adversity? We're going to accomplish the objective number one here. Yeah. And what is adversity? What is, what is adversity? I think adversity is, is things that are working against you, yeah. problems that you know arise, something you have to overcome. I like it. Thanks, man. Anything that challenges you. Life has been life so easy for people now that they just avoid doing hard things and they're so good at it. it. If you can avoid things, you're not doing anything wrong. You're just really good at finding the least, the least difficult way of getting your needs met. You know what I mean? So people think, oh, no, I'm, uh, I'm really I'm bad because I avoid so much. No, no, no. Your needs are still getting met. You got a shelter, food, you know, that kind of thing. You're just really good at figuring out how not to do hard things because you're human. Humans don't like doing hard things. All right, adversity. What do you guys think? Can we pass that one? Got it done? Check? Yes, check, check. All right. What does adversity have to do with resilience? Okay. I think when you when you face adversity, it helps you build resilience, right? To be resilient to things that they go hand in hand. I don't feel like you can 
have resilience if you have an ad adversity, right? Yeah. I, I am, I'm going to skip, skip around because I realize I could have made this smoother. What, what is resilience? You're right, by the way. Yeah. Being able to persevere, push through. Bring the bells back. Yeah. The ability, that's, that's like the actual definition of resilience. The ability to, you know, bounce back. And the quicker you can bounce back after facing adversity, the more resilient, theoretically, you are. So, nice. Now we're gonna go back to this works. Yeah. Now what now? Did you answer this one? What does adversity have to do with who did that? You did that. Did did anybody do this or did I just skip it? Okay. So you did this one. What does adversity have to do with resilience? What'd you say? Because I was I was I was in my head. I'm like, Jed, you did the slides wrong. I didn't listen to you. I, I feel like adversity and resilience go hand in hand. Like, if you haven't faced adversity, then you don't become resilient. You don't build that. So, you can't have one without the other. So, I feel. Uh, I believe you. Where have you guys had adversity? It's right there. Yeah. The biggest thing I can think of is when I was playing sports, man, and you get a bunch of penalties against you. And, like, you get a holding call, you go back 10 yards, 15 yards, you get a face mask. And your quarterback breaks his arm. And then what do you do, man? You push through, the next guy come in and fill his shoes, or you give up. That's all right. That's, that's good stuff. Yeah. Who, who else has it, a, a, a tale of adversity? Well, we all have tales of adversity. When, when do you think was our earliest? I'm, I'm freestyling it right now. When do you think was our early? Oh, go ahead. First, which, which school? Kindergarten. Yeah. You know, I think, I think. You know, people are like, you don't get me. You don't have my trauma. <laughs> you heard that before, right? Ah, oh, crazy. So here's what you say to that. Oh, I do get you because we've been through the same most traumatic event, all of us. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Like, can you imagine? No, we can't imagine that. Yeah. But we've all been through it. Birth in that cozy little place. You know what I mean? No worries, just being fed all the time, not to do anything. <laughs> Thrown out into this crazy world, screaming. Anyway, uh, any, any other adverse, adversity tales? Uh, divorce and, and uh, the split up of, of family. And I think it's, yeah. Yeah, man. I didn't want to cut you off. Were, were, you, were, you, were, you, were you done? Yeah. Okay. yeah, divorce is a rough one. Ooh. We're completing Red Barn Academy. That's that verse? We're getting to it? <laughs> the end. <laughs> yeah, it's training. Life's hard, and it's just going to get harder. That's the crazy part. I'll tell you that, huh? Oh, it does get harder, but the uh, theory is you get stronger, so it doesn't seem as hard. Plus, you know. Kind of get used to adversity. All right, where are we at? We did this. Check this off. We did the first one. Where have you been able to withstand or recover? What if we're still doing that? What if we're doing that every day on something? What do you think? I bet it was hard getting up. It's hard for me to get up. I had an adverse day yesterday. I feel like I bounced back pretty well. Where have you been able to withstand or recover? So, I think I probably told you guys this last time. Who was here? You guys remember the story where somebody, I don't know if they're here. I don't think, I don't, I don't know if they're, if, you're, if, they're, if this is you, let me know if you're the person who said this. At the end of my time last time, they said, what are you doing, Jed? For your hero's journey, because we talked about hero's journey. And I, was, and I said, well, right now I'm working on like having boundaries around my family. And I hadn't talked to them for a long time because they just had some understandings. I'm <laughs> like, this is not okay. But I don't know if I'm recovered from that right yet. I don't know if I'm, I've worked through that. So my question to you is, what's coming to mind that you may still be recovering from that was adverse 
there was an adversity in your life. Thoughts are coming. You guys just aren't saying it. I know thoughts are coming. Good. For me, I mean, I, I mentioned divorce and, and, you know, that family's being torn in two or whatever. Uh, but after after that, I just seen like one thing after another. Like, I could never regain my balance, you know, but that's why I'm here at Red Barn. You know, I, I just, you know, in, in this program, I can have a safe place to get my balance back and, and be able to stand on my feet. Um, two feet. Thanks for the direction there. Go ahead. Since since Red Barn, I don't know if we're going to get all the way through. What? How much time do I have? Not a lot. Thirty minutes. You guys know where I'm going with this. Who had their hand raised that had somebody adversity? I'm just going to skip to you. Just honestly facing my demons, man. You're having all those behaviors brought to me that I didn't see within myself. My brother's bringing me. It brought to me, and yeah, I can withstand them because I'm still here, but I'm still trying to recover. Yeah, that would be a shock. That would be a shock. Changing your whole routine, your whole environment, everything, just change like that. That yeah, was rock. Because this, this sound familiar to you? I had never hit rock bottom. Would I be the person I am today? I don't believe so. It's kind of funny. You guys heard of NF? I don't know, maybe you... New people get heard of it. I've been listening. My kid introduced me to NF as a rapper. I thought he was black until yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I thought I just figured he was black. No, he's a white dude. Like NF, Nathan Feuerstein, right? That's like German, but he's got he got good lyrics. I'm gonna just throw some good lyrics in here every once in a while. What are the benefits of resilience? What stands out in there? Higher self esteem. Yeah, that's that's practice. Improve problem solving. Improve problem solving. Yeah. On problems the way that I used to run, I five whatever it looks like, right? That fight or flight. Now I'm able to face these problems head on and come at them with a healthy mindset with some reality based thinking. You know. Dig it. Yeah. Confidence. That's a good one. Confidence is a funny word. People have different definitions for it. My definition is I don't really care what people think of what I do. <laughs> is that arrogance or confidence? Oh. But if you're confident, like if uh, confidence, if I wore weird socks and I was confident, that would mean I did your opinion of my socks don't matter on some level. I guess another thing for confidence would be just knowing that you can do something well. Is that, what, what, what is it that you're thinking of when it comes to confidence? Uh, for each time I fell, bounced back a little better since I got here. It, it kind of builds you up. It was built me up here. Um, I, I bounced back from little failures the big failures that I, that I stick with it. So, so it's building my confidence here a little bit. Failure, what a word. Can you, yeah. Improve problem solving. And the reason why for me is because when you lose the will to do anything or the motivation to do anything like that, you kind of just have to find a starting point and just begin from that point, right? Life is a series of problems that you have to solve, and you just have to keep moving forward. So, life is a series of problems. You know, if I was if I was a good at this, you know what I would have done right there? I would have been like, "That's right, life is a series of problems." Sometimes I just need to be. I feel like I need to be more of an animated. It's not genuinely who I. Who I feel like being right now. So I dig it. Benefits. Better adaptability. You know, emotions, happiness, sad, behavior, all of that. 
you're 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 learning how to, to cope with all of that. Recognize, you know, certain things about your emotions that normally would have, you know, just allowed you to feel pretty good. Now you can recognize you're getting there, making better choices to do something about it. The right. I love this program. I, it it does. It teaches you so much. And the best part, you're not around people. They're going to put up with it. You know, the negative stuff. That's the best part. Families, too agreeable to some level, especially kids. Too agreeable. They like you too much. These guys are unbiased. <laughs> Can't pull it over on them as much as you can other people, like in your, you know, close knit family stuff. I love it. Adaptability. How come no one's mentioned my joke up there yet? No one's. Oh, now, now you see. I have to. How good a joke is it if I have to point it out? Though I'm not even going to say it. You're not a. What do you guys think about this bottom quote by Stephen Covey? <laughs> yeah, your product and your circumstances. That we a lot of us have that we are a product of our environment or what we're around, but, but really it's our decisions that are that are affecting our lives and making us the people we are. Yeah. So yeah. In therapy, people will say that, you know, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. My mom was on drugs. I, nobody supervised me, you know, that kind of thing, or whatever the story is. But I'll I'll go, you know, some people have had it situationally even worse than you do. I need to be more animated, huh? I need to be more animated. Be more animated, walk around. You need to some people had it even worse than you did. Maybe if I cry, that'll really get you, huh? So even worse than you did. Honestly, like some people grew up in Africa and escaped, you know, slavery and the um the refugees in some country and they come here with nothing and they didn't do drugs you know they didn't do this they didn't all the things that we think we're not responsible for so it's yeah i dig this i didn't even know I, uh i i don't really follow this stephen covey person but i dig the quote I dig that all right the mind is a powerful <laughs> you can tell i've been listening to the nf here the mind is a powerful place. What you feed it can affect you in a powerful way. What do you guys think about that? What are you guys getting fed here? What are you getting fed here that you weren't getting fed out there? <laughs> What's up? Oh, I, I, I guess I, I, that's that's true too. And, and, and what we feed it, what we put in it, whether it's music, videos books the books we read we, we become a product of that influence what are you getting what are you getting fed i should probably cry. i should cry should i cry oh man i can't do it what do you what are you guys getting fed here that you weren't getting fed other yeah you were I, first body integrity yeah what was the other one yeah Accountability, integrity. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what that means. Is that is that integrity and honesty, strong core beliefs, or do you have a list of? Yeah. Did you guys hear this? Did you guys hear this stuff out there? You're not a product of your circumstance. Not. Yeah. I hear. I hear that coming in my door all the time. But here they're saying, no, 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 it's, you're accountable. Is that accurate? What's a football term I can use right now? Hut, 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 hut. Is that a football thing? Hut, hut one, hut two. Is that a thing? For real? Code 23, 12, 23. <laughs> hey, you're having adversity right now, in this moment. Persevere. You can walk through this time. You can walk through it. Uh, what else have you guys 
I know you guys have learned some stuff and heard some stuff here. It, like, well, did I, uh, I'm really messing this up. Um, the mind is a powerful place. I know you guys have been fed stuff here that hasn't, that hasn't been fed somewhere else. This is too loud, right? Can I control it? Can I control my loudness? Does this seem loud to you? It seems like I have a lisp too. I can't, I can't, I'm 30% here in the last seven years. Okay, what were, what were we gonna say? <laughs> oh. How it, it always was for me, right? And since I've been here, I've learned that as soon as I make it not about me, the better off I end up. But when I'm always trying to make it about me, even till this day, if I'm as I'm here in this in this house, the moment I start making everything about me, the moment that everything starts going skew and straight. But as soon as I start making it about someone else, it's like everything starts lining up how it's supposed to. Really cool. Keep it coming. Oh, blind eye. You guys, you're talking about adversity. I, I, that's why I don't talk about myself. Boy, it's tough. I'm going to keep going through here and you're going to, you're going to be fed other beliefs that's all by the way that's all therapy is is people coming in with a set of belief systems and then you're challenging them poking holes in it yeah. what about failure what have you guys learned about failure because you mentioned failure i learned that out of failure opportunities there if, if i recognize that my behavior from the past was wrong <laughs> which i have and uh opportunities are the biggest big deal to learn from failure. I, I don't look at failure as a as a bad word. That's what I'm talking about. That's the that's right. a good stuff right there. You learn more to, by failing than you do by not failing. That's the wild part. I hope you fail for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say? I think it's the value growth. Totally. Yeah, more growth than succeeding. Did you know did you think about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys heard of Goggins, David Goggins? Yeah, he's got some good, good beliefs too. He has some good stuff to eat, like mind-wise. One of his things, if it's, if you do fail, that's good. So you're less inclined to shy away from things that you might not be good at, because it's good to fail. You learn more by failing. Yeah, some good. It's goodness. All right. Ooh. Man, steps to becoming, I just made this up. Dude, is this valid? I, I was just, last night, I'm like, I gotta do something. We gotta prepare something. Seriously, I, I've never even done a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, I hope I fail, huh, huh, huh? Okay, what do you guys think about this? Is this, is this, does it sound like a whistle to you? Is it not? Honestly, be honest, I can take it. Does it sound like a whistle when I say this? Does it see? Thank you. I thought I was going crazy. Gaslight stuff. Can you fix that, Ethan? Can you make my whistle not whistle? I can't wait to get old, man. That's going to be awesome. I mean, whistle when I, I can't do it. I can't do it on purpose. What do you guys think about this? Here we go. He, he can do it. What's accurate? What's not accurate? I'm open for feedback. Hope and the rats part. Yeah. Welcome to my world, man. There's a lot of randomness going on. <laughs> so let's, let's hear it. I'm open for feedback. What do you guys think about this? Um, I like I like the part that talks about nothing changing your value, because ultimately only you yourself can can give yourself value. You know, if at any moment you decide to think that that you're not enough or not worth it, right? And you create that that internal dialogue, that negative self talk, then everything else is going to reflect that, right? Because you're you're going to manifest that. If you if you 
tell yourself that you're worth it and that you're a winner, man. So that's what you're gonna get. Those are the kind of results you're gonna get. You're gonna get. You're gonna find success. You're gonna find victory. Or, or on the flip side, right? You're gonna find loss. Yeah. Nothing changes your value. Being accountable means being teachable. If I can prove my accountability, then they'll see that I'm teachable. Worth, worth trying. And I would have never learned that until I got here. And that, that's a pretty cool thing to know. Yeah. It helps to know that I have people who know this. It's not being fed out there. Wow. Value. I would add to thinking that I think is extremely important is awareness. Self awareness, awareness of what's going on around us, awareness for what we're thinking, where it's coming from, um, where we're at, what lens we're looking through. But that awareness piece, for me at least, was life changing. Yeah, someone had to tell you. you know what I mean, because we, we can't see it when we're in that mindset. Can't see it. Good job being open to that. And I, honestly, it's, yeah, you guys are doing hard things. I think everybody does hard things, but yeah, so I guess you're no better than anybody else. <laughs> Just a different kind of hard. Oh, good stuff. So what about feedback is your friend? That's like a Dave DeRocher thing. Feedback is your friend. He's good at this. I, just, I don't got it. I just don't got it. What's up? Oh, no. The rules were a foundation. I'm not going to say true what you can accomplish. That's that's great. Structure, schedule. Yeah, schedules. Humans love schedules. It's just, it's just humans love schedules. That's when people come in, come in in my office. They're like, I just don't wake up until whenever I wake up. And I'm like, well, do you have a job? What do they say? Oh, oh, well, why would you get up? Well, there's no reason for me to get up. You don't have any motivation to do it. So yeah, it's being a normal human. <laughs> oh, all right. What about life happens for you, not to you? Oh, that's not taught. Oh, by the way, all trauma, right? Any, any trauma, you won't have trauma anymore when you realize you're not hurt from it anymore which is what life, well, that means life happens for you, not to you. How has life, how has life happened for you? Hmm? You raise your hand. That's all. You can look at it, it's like everything that happens in your life, all adversity is a, it's a life lesson. You can, you, can, you can think you're a victim and then it just happened to you because the universe hates you or God hates you or everybody hates you or however you want to look at it, right? It's all a mindset. It's strong. Can I strong? Yeah. I was just going to say something online. Like, a lot of people play victim, you know what I mean? That's kind of a big thing. Not playing victim to circumstances that you create, you know, by your bad decisions. Yeah, I would imagine that's something like that, right? Not losing your father, because obviously you can't control that. But what are you saying right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, a, I'm probably a better dad now. You know what I mean? I probably have more appreciation for the role of father, that kind of thing. No. Everything, everything, even uh, losing your quarterback happened for you. I know, like, that's some, some nonsense, dude. Some crazy nonsense. Coach, R Coach Rizdell would have a real field day with that in the huddle room. <laughs> that's a good coach name, huh? Rizdell. I just came up with that. Just came up with that. All right. All right, let's see. Okay, you guys want to hear the story of hope with the rats? Dude, this is wild. I just I just found this one out maybe like six months ago. Here's the scenario. How much time do I got? Am I good? Can I go tell seven? Any word uh Seven. So they did the six. This is crazy, man. <laughs> and by the way, uh, 
I think it's messed up that they experiment on rats. I think the rats are pretty rats. Rats are pretty smart. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they did this experiment on rats, and they got wild rats, and they got domesticated rats. And they said, <laughs> "This is so messed up." This is in the fifties. This is in the fifties, so they can't do it anymore, right? Peter. <laughs> they said, "How long? How long will these rats?" tread water before they give up <laughs> how long will it take for these guys to drown that's that was the idea right if they're going to kill these rats in the 50s it's a true story he's looking at you like is this real it's real this happened this is documented so they put the domesticated rats in a cup right and they're just swimming around <laughs> uh and they put the wild rats guess which ones lasted longer first of all this is no it was the domesticated rats that lasted longer who guessed wild come on yeah you would think right because they're more resilient no no <laughs> why do you think the domesticated ones lasted longer oh there's two hands in uh, I, would, I would say no, 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 no. Uh, i would say probably they <laughs> The, they had more of a stronger will to live because you know, if they were domesticated, they would obviously be better. Side. Not true, but that's a good guess. You're next. In the enforced situation, they had to adapt. I thought you did that. Nope. Nope. Bad. 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 Bad that they would be taken care of so they had they had more hope than the other rats isn't that crazy <laughs> i know i can't either it was right there so but it gets it gets even it gets even better ethan i, I feel like i sound loud i feel like i sound loud do i sound loud if i don't sound loud you tell me but be honest i can take it what is it too loud Am I all good? Yeah. Just not used to hearing so much, so much of myself. So here's here's what they did then. Then the 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 mad scientists back in the 50s, they said, well, let's change this up. Let's hit these rats, and right before they drown, let's pick them up. You know what I mean, <laughs> let's pick them up. So that's what they did. Guess how long in both right? wild rats domesticated rats all had the same outcome here guess how long they lasted no well, nope that's not right that's what i would have guessed no that's not right either 40 seconds longer nope it's crazy 40 years <laughs> rats only live three years man everybody knows that I have 40 up there. Come on. You guys have done say you, you got, what's what's in between days and minutes? Yeah, there we go. Who said it? Candy bar. 40 40 hours. It lasted 40 hours. Isn't that crazy? 40 hours. Why? Hope. Pause for dramatic effect. This is, this is my problem. I don't, this is, I, I, it's, it's hard for me to watch presentations because I know like the Oz, the Oz, I've seen Oz. I know it's all like, you know what I mean? It's all rehearsed. So it doesn't, it irks me, but pause for dramatic effect, 40 hours. That's wild, huh? Isn't that cool? Who? Who, who does, whose mind is blown away? Whose mind is blown away by that information? Oh, mine was blown away. All right. Woo! Am I having fun yet? I'm having fun. Did you guys catch the other theme I had here? Bam! Bam! That's what happened to you guys right now. Bam! What's, your whole life. Bam! Bam! Swords. <laughs> Here we go. And these are just some quotes I like. 
out of difficulties grow miracles. I added this, I thought it was clever. Um, I, heard, I read this out of difficulties grow miracles. And then I said in my head, adversity grows personal growth and then grows miracles. I don't know. It's probably not as clever as I thought it was. So here, Albert Einstein, he's got way more uh, clout. You wanna, you wanna, what is that? If you want to live a happy life, tie it to a goal, not to people or objects. That's, that's not taught. That's not fed to your mind out there. What does it mean? It comes up. Purpose. Is that to have a purpose. What? What is it though? Dude, what are you tying your goal to now? For me, when I, when I read it, say, if I want my life to be happy, um, to tie it to goals instead of people or objects. So a goal is something that I'm striving for. It's, it's, it's more kind of inward it's my my value my worth my because i'm i'm growing as i strive towards that goal i'm i'm going through adversity i'm gaining resilience i'm getting stronger i'm learning things as i'm searching for that goal or trying to achieve that goal and when i think of tying my happiness to people or objects those things are you know objects are objects they come and go it is what it is there's really not a lot of joy there and people People are completely outside of our control, and I don't like tying my happiness to something that I have absolutely no control over. They can let us down, they can die, they can whatever. I don't have any control over what Isaac does, so I can't tie my happiness to that. Do they teach that out there? Nobody teaches that out there. You gotta get the goal. You gotta win this game. You'll be happy. You know what I mean? It's a real problem. <laughs> but I get, you know, you gotta push people. Okay, adversity. Hashtag adversity. <laughs> Good stuff. Thank you for that. Our culture is so unhealthy, right? None of this stuff's being taught. And here you are. Mind. Mind is a powerful place. And what you feed it can affect you in a powerful way. I didn't say that. F and F. Huh? All right. Good stuff. So good about that. You guys, oh man. I, uh, listen, did we do it all? I think we did. Huh? Just a funny picture, right? Rocky, I was gonna, I didn't, I didn't have room. I was gonna put Adrian, Adrian. Oh, no. who, who can do that here? Oh, you, yeah, you, you do it better than I do. Not about how hard you hit. Uh, who, who has the best Rocky voice in here? Come on. Say it, do it. It's, no, no, read that in a Rocky voice. <laughs> it's not about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, good, good stuff. Well done, everybody. We don't have time for Q&A, so I can't talk about myself. Oh, well. Thank you for the time. I appreciate it. Get back all week. <laughs>